Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another Visconti which is in my collection and I've had it in my collection for at least a year now, possibly longer. And you can see here it's the old style box, wooden box. So let me unbox this outer sleeve and I will show you the box that is inside. It's the old style Visconti plastic box without the the drawer and if I open the box up you will see here the Visconti Medici not to be confused with the Medici Il Magnifico or the Medici Il Magnifico Serpentine or Lorenzo as it's called so let me remove the pen from the bed and remove the box and here you can see the Visconti Medici. Now this is a lovely pen. I did actually have two of these and in I think it was late 2018 I decided to sell one of them. I bought both at the same time and it's just that there's nothing wrong with the other pen. A friend bought it, Gary, but I just find that I didn't write with both of them enough. And I had medium nibs on both. I've since swapped the nib on this one to a broader nib. It's a double broad. But this was the Medici that I kept. And you can see why. This lovely Arco pattern. This sort of chevron pattern that is going on there inside this resin. Now, clearly this is not Arco uh, or Omar's Arco as we know it. But it has this lovely like wood grain effect going on there so this was the pen that i kept the other medici that i had was a, actually quite a lot lighter in color thanks to chris he mentioned to me that uh, on youtube um, that he hadn't seen a review of, of this pen that was in my collection and strange enough i thought i had i had videoed it and i'm pretty sure i had but i can't find a video so I decided to sit down and re-record the video so here is the re-recorded version so this comes with the standard Visconti my pen finial which is a magnet and you can remove and put on uh, either initials or a gemstone of your choice or zodiac sign uh, you have the standard Visconti bridge clip which most of the time I find quite functional although I know there are people that find that it doesn't stay clipped to their shirt pockets or jacket pockets I'm not normally one to to clip a pen to fabric so it doesn't bother me either way um, but I know that is an important feature for some people now the strange thing about this pen is it's faceted as you can see there now the cap actually tapers out quite a bit actually to the center point of the cap tapers back in then you have this Medici band here and this is actually on the body not on the cap and there's a slight step down here and then the body starts to taper down or taper in slightly to this ring here and then to what is the power vac filling knob and yes this is a power vac it's not a double reservoir though so it will not hold around two and a half milliliters of ink which is what a double reservoir power vac filler will hold this holds in the region of around about 1.2 1 to 1.2 milliliters when it's fully full and that's what you will get on any of the standard power vac fillers so you can see here the size of my hand this pen is actually quite nice size and if i uncap the pen there you can see the crook of my hand this pen actually fits quite nicely can you post the cap yes you can does it post very well yes it posts very securely but like with most caps it does become a bit of a wand it doesn't post massively deeply so unfortunately it is going to be a long pen once you have the cap posted now I did say that I changed the nib on here and you can see here I swapped this out for a double board and you don't see those nibs much now from Visconti 
And I do like this double board nib. And I'm really glad that I did swap it for another Visconti nib. Now you'll also see here that the section actually is a little bit sort of uh, sort of slims down here towards the lower part of the section. Now typically I'm not a fan of that, but it does flare out a little bit more. So it does stop you sort of if I sort of hold the pen here, it does stop your fingers sliding a little bit off onto the nib. If if your fingers slide it's going to slide away from the nib and likewise the feed. This is normally my biggest issue with some sections is that my middle finger where I hold it here will slide off and sort of hit where the breather hole is on the back of the feed and then my finger gets all inky, my middle finger. Now this does have the hook safe lock mechanism which you can see here and then you, it does have this Medici band that you can see there and then the Medici coat of arms and then you can see these facets here but this sort of and, and I'm tempted not to call it Arco because it's not Arco Arco is just a name that was used by Omas um, this really is more of a wood grain effect going on here and I really think that's what most wood grain effect pens should be called but you can see that that pattern there is actually quite lovely so you can see why I kept this pen and not the other pen although there was nothing wrong with the other pen the other pen had a lot more lighter areas and was had a lot more chatoyance going on in the body but that now has a good home and I believe is being used quite a bit. So this is a power vac filler. So it is going to hold a lot of ink. But for me, like this, this pen is actually quite comfortable. It does feel quite nice in the hand. Now I know some people have mentioned that this Medici band doesn't really either look or feel like metal. I'm not entirely sure. It feels a little bit rough to the touch as though it may be metal i'm not entirely sure um it definitely like i think visconti tend to use metal here on a lot of their um cap bands and and bands on on the pens but it does look a little bit sort of sort of maybe on the cheap side uh un under that sort of lighting i guess compared to say the nib but this pen does feel really nice in the hand. So I think what we'll do, we will do some size measurements. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a comparison with other pens. And then we'll do a writing sample. So the full length of the pen, we are looking at around about 143 maybe 144 millimeters in length. The cap is about 59 millimeters in length. And then from the tip of the nib there, we're looking 132 millimeters. So this is what I really class as an oversized pen. Let's do a weight check. So the full weight of the pen, and this is uninked, is just under 41 grams. The cap is just over 14 and a half grams. And the body uninked is just under 25 grams. So add about a, a gram, it's gonna be just under 26 grams once fully inked. So let's do a comparison with other pens. From left to right, we have the Visconti Opera Master. This is the River Thames, which was a Chatterley Luxuries exclusive. We have the Visconti Ecstasy Dowd. We have the Visconti Luxor Obelisk. We have the Visconti Speakeasy. We have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Swirl. We have the Visconti Medici. The Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. The Visconti Corsani 90 the Corsani Octagonal 
and the Visconti Divina Metropolitan. And you can see here really the actual size between the Medici and the Homo sapiens, really there isn't a lot of difference there at all. It's, it's very marginal. So what we'll do, we'll ink this pen up because it is uninked at the moment. Now I am going to ink it up with the ink that I always put in this pen, which is Ackermann SBRE Brown. And I'm going to use a Penida pen filler. So what we'll do, we'll unscrew the stop. You can pull that straight out, but it's easy just to unscrew it. And then loosen the cap there of the Penida pen filler. And now what I'm going to do is unscrew the piston. Now, this is where people get it wrong, and I have got it wrong before on a video. So do not pull this out until you put it into the pen filler, or if you're using a Visconti traveling inkwell, put it into there. Now, I'm going to try and push this in as hard as I can. Now, this isn't a very secure fit, so I'm going to hold this and hope it doesn't leak ink. And doing a death grip there, and that is now fully inked. Wipe the section and just wipe the nib off there. And I'm just going to screw this back down again. So let's do a writing sample. So this is the Visconti Medici and it is a 23 cat palladium nib in a double board. Now the ink as you saw there is Ackerman SBRE Brown. Now, you can see this is quite a wet nib. Um, and you can see why I like this as well. So, this is a double broad nib. So, it's quite broad. You're not really like, I'm going to try and push a little bit more pressure out versus this. And you can see there's a slight bit of line variation here. In terms of wetness, you can see that this is quite a wet nib. Now, it's not a fire hose of a nib. Fire hose I normally suggest is around about halfway mark on an A5 pad in terms of the smear test, but this still is almost getting there. So this is quite a wet nib. It's a really nice sort of nib in terms of how it writes. It writes buttery smooth. Now this ink here is still very, very wet. Even the Aeon Ackermann here I can see is still pretty wet so this is a wet nib so this isn't a nib that i would write with in a notebook because it will take a long time to dry but this is a pen that i really do love i still have the medium nibs that i can put back in here if i wanted to at any point in time but for me i do like this medici the downsides of this pen is that I wish it had the double reservoir in there and possibly an ink window. It doesn't necessarily have to have an ink window. I think that having the double reservoir would have actually at least doubled the ink capacity. <laughs> With a double board wet nib, I find this runs out of ink pretty quickly. So... I find myself having to refill it time and time and time again. And I don't mind that because it's a really lovely wet nib to write with. However, this is one of the sort of downsides of this nib. Like if you're having a fine, a medium, even an extra fine nib, then you're probably not going to have any issues. 
but if you have a very wet writing nib and you go for a double board now these pens did not come with double boards i actually retrofitted a, a visconti double board nib onto this so this normally wouldn't come with a double board but if it did then like you would be running out of ink pretty quickly that really is the only downside for me for this pen otherwise i absolutely love the pen i love the finish i love how it writes how smooth that nib is and likewise i like how wet it writes so that's the review of the visconti medici in a double broad nib thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next pen video bye bye